you may be wondering why the first however many minutes of this video are fast forwarded well that's because when i recorded my last section when i when i recorded the last section uh of the draft and the first game that i played which was actually an insanely entertaining game i had my microphone muted in obs the entire time so, but it just OBS decided that it no longer wanted to hear my voice, and that's understandable. Um, so that's why I, I've not cut the footage. I've just super fast forwarded it, except for like the last section-ish spot of it when Buddy was overdrawing and it was fatigue and sh shit. So somebody picked Zeus, so this should be an easy win. Lol, Zeus. Um, I've got a nice control op wash deck, as this hand very clearly tells you. Uh, and I think against Zeus, I actually want to keep Blood Bond, because if he sticks an Apollo out on the board, might be worth it. I don't have very many small drops, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hold on to that. Decay is sometimes good enough to keep. Um, but because I don't have very many small drops, I feel like I need to mulligan aggressively for them. And I got an Imperial Soldier, which is one of my only two drops. I drew my other Blood Bond again, and I have Blight. So, I've got two drops. We're going to play the Imperial Soldier first, just in case I coin out a 4 next time, if I draw a 4. Um, yeah, and there, there's the Apollo that I was discussing. Um, actually... Coin sever? No, no, I can always do it next turn. So I just need to make sure one, two, three. One, two, three. I just need to make sure you stay out of range. And I'll make a guy that's also out of range to set up for a possible blood bond. And obviously, something like Coiny Zots is pretty good on six if I have a board of zombies um, but blight into Kamazots could just win me the game uh, so that's something to keep in mind although Greece does have access to deicide you know it, okay judgment that's fair all right I mean blood bond here is not bad in the slightest Yeah. And my other option was pretty much make a guy, which is just bad blood bond in this case. So that that's a pretty good uh, pretty good turn for me. Touch of Midas, okay. Let's see what he gets. Arachne, okay. Venator, okay. Um, hmm. Do I just sever that? Well, the things that are always happening. If I sever it, I can't play my own Venator. And, you know, I think I'm okay with him having a two health minion on the board the turn before I want to Blight. Yeah, so for that reason. We also don't want him to trade into my Venator because I want his Venator to survive a turn so that I can turn it into a zombie. Which means, really, he's killing a 1-1, but I'm going to build a 1-1 off of his dead body. So, I'm okay with that. Baboon, alright. It makes Blight less attractive, that's for certain. <laughs> but I can put it at 4 HP... Yeah. Okay, so we're doing that. <laughs> uh... Yep. Yep. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, I can't sever the baboon this turn. Um, because I want to be able to sever an arachne, but is that even...
I think the correct play is going to be... Ah, then I should have killed the Venator. Stone Guardian guy, I think. That was a poor turn from me. Blade Master, okay. I mean, I really want Blight value. Yeah, so we're going to sever the baboon. Um, and then our choice is either make a guy. We're going to make a guy because I want to buff my Camazots. I'm not sure there's a place on the board. If he doesn't kill the guy, I get a bigger Camazots, is the idea. I'm being super greedy with this Blight, and I acknowledge that. Ooh, I hope he doesn't play a god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Blood Bond is not bad here. But neither is Blight. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for the High Roll Blood Bond. It, it can hit two out of five targets. If it does, then I can coin out Blight and be pretty happy. I got a little roll. I'm pretty obviously setting up for Blight, I think. <laughs> but it's going to be a big board swing, and then I have to win with Camazots, you know? The turn between the two, of course, is insanely weak to Athena. That poor Venator trade might have just, like, literally lost me the game. Deicide? That's super good! That means my Camazots lives. Oh, this turn is insane. Let me go for Super Greed. This Camazots is going to be... <laughs> Plus six, plus six. It's an 11 11 Camazots. Assuming he doesn't kill any Zombles. More likely it's a 9 9. In case of Athena, it's uh, 8 8. Still pretty good. Argus! Yeah, okay, Athena. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I, I knew it was a possibility, even a probability. Um, ooh, it's actually more, isn't it? Okay, so if I do seven, seven, nine, or is that just good enough? And then I want to play cast spawn on the Argus. It 
is plus one plus one worth stopping card draw and a two three body it's not It's not, so we're going to play the Kamazots. Now, I have to hope he doesn't have the other deicide, <laughs> or the other possible deicides. He already killed my chalk with his deicide, which literally probably gave me a chance to win the game. If he doesn't do that, he always wins. Like, flat out, always wins, never loses. Um, that's okay. It's fine. Because Athena's going to race me. Because he's so confident that his fury can uh, kill my Zots. Next turn, he does 7 damage to me. Do I just have to take the trade? Well, Baboon is being played. As is the Zabin Scout. The 2 3 is never going into the 4 7. The only question is is my 8 7 hitting a 6 5? No, I force him to make the trades. I think I'm in a winning position. And I want his fury away from my baboon. Yep, that was correct. And I have Suku charge next turn with the baboon for 5 damage to stone. So that's another reason it's correct. Even though it doesn't kill the fury, it, that's not a big deal, I don't think. So he has to kill me this turn. Yep, he loses. Aw, feels bad, man. Chaos spawn off the top! Chaos spawn off the top! Chaos spawn off the top! Come on! Give me that chaos spawn. Come on, baby. I believe. Oh! I saw the three! I saw the three! <laughs> okay, okay. It's fine. Um. So what's my trades? What's my trades? Well, three plus two looks pretty good. Um, I'm missing a zombie. That was uh, that was a misplay. All right. Well, we play the Zaven Scout, and then there's no reason. Actually, there is a reason to not attack. Because I want him to make that trade, not me. And I'm holding Suku for a win con. Like, if I draw a silence, I'd need to keep the, the Suku. Mm, okay. I can't answer the Athena, which is why I'm not attacking it. With my good units. Yeah, okay. That's probably GG. Because now I don't have the beast for Suku to have charge. Now 
The double Athena draw is pretty nuts for him. Okay, Decay. Um... Is there any way Decay saves me? No, I don't think so. It's unfortunate. Okay, you know it's it's okay because I, I I made the plays required so that I had a chance at winning. You know, and I I misplayed my Venator turn because I took return damage for no good reason. Um, didn't even get a zombie off of him, and I should have traded into his Venator and then severed the Baboon and then set up a better Blight turn that would have been faster and would have taken a lot less damage. So, it, you know, it's uh, small misplays that will cost you the game. This guy's just going to rope me. 